Generate effects create animated graphic elements from scratch, and they can generate a wide range of effects from repetitive graphic shapes all the way through flowing organic patterns. In this tutorial, we will create a series of repeating lines using the checkerboard generate effect. You can follow along with the practice files included with this tutorial or with a project file of your own. First thing, let's create a layer solid. I'll click in the timeline to make the composition active and then go up to the layer menu and choose new solid. In the comp settings, go ahead and click on the make comp size button to make the solid the same size as the comp. Now, since we want to create lines instead of a grid, let's go ahead and change the width of this solid to a setting of 20. We can leave the height alone and then click OK. It doesn't matter what color your layer solid is because that's going to be overridden by the effect. So with the layer solid selected in the timeline, let's go up under the effect menu and go down to generate. In here, let's generate a checkerboard. Let's adjust our checkerboard settings starting at the top. I want the anchor point to start off the left edge of the canvas. So I'll change the X here to a value of negative one and then I'll press tab to move to the Y setting. Here, we can go ahead and have it start right at the top of the composition, so I'll type zero. Now we can move down to the width setting. Press the tab key and change the width from 16 to 25, and then press enter to set the size. Now if we look at the layer solid, you can see it doesn't look like a grid at all. Let's reposition this layer in the timeline by clicking on the white solid layer and positioning it between layers two and three. Once you let go, notice now the shape is behind the lion. In order to make this look like lines, I'm going to press S on my keyboard to open the scale for the currently selected layer two. Go over to the chain and click on it once to unlock the proportions. I'm gonna hover over the X parameter and hold down shift and then click and drag to the right to quickly increase the size of these lines. And you wanna make sure the lines go all the way off the edges of the canvas. Now these are really bright white. So I'll select layer two and press T to open the opacity. And we'll just click and drag to bring the opacity down to a setting around 21. Now to animate these lines, I'd like them to flow from the top to the bottom. And to do that, we'll keyframe the anchor. Since our current time indicator is already at frame zero, go ahead and just keyframe the anchor setting in the effect controls panel. Move the current time indicator to the end of the timeline by pressing the end key on your keyboard. You can also just click and drag in the timeline. Make sure you're on frame nine seconds and 29 frames. To animate the anchor point, let's move it down on the Y axis. Enter a value of 200 in the Y parameter. I chose that number because it's divisible by 25. Now that we have multiple keyframes, go ahead and press the space bar on your keyboard to preview the animation. And sure enough, we have lines moving vertically in the scene. Now pay close attention to the animation as the current time indicator moves down the timeline. I think you'll notice once it gets to the end, there's a very slight hiccup that occurs. So I'm gonna press the space bar to stop playback because I want you to select layer two and press the U key to reveal these two keyframes. Let's press the J key and the K key on your keyboards to navigate back and forth between the two keyframes in the timeline. You'll notice there's no visual difference from one to the other. And that's because these keyframes were perfectly divided by 25 and 25 happens to be the width of our line. So even though the lines are moving down in the composition, since it's an even number and they're repetitive, it just looks like the exact same frame. We can fix this by sliding the last keyframe one frame down in the timeline. After you move the keyframe, go ahead and press the space bar to view our handiwork. Now, whenever you're animating repeating shapes, it's always wise to pay attention to the mathematics of the animation. In this instance, by animating the anchor with a number that's divisible by the width of the line made it extraordinarily easy for us to create this nice, smooth background animation. 